morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well today i'm gonna do one of my favorite things i'm gonna share my and other stories haul with you some of these pieces i've had for a little bit longer like the outfit i have on right now i included those pieces into my autumn capsule wardrobe so if you want to see some styling inspiration for those you can go check that one out even though we are definitely sort of towards the end of the autumn at this point. I still think that there are some great transitional outfits there. You might recognize this outfit. I had that in there, but I did also order quite a few new pieces and I haven't tried them on yet. I'm really excited. Every brand just has a few categories where they really excel. I kind of feel like this haul is almost only categories. I feel like and other stories do really, really well. And I have a couple of more festive garments here, but also just so many great basics that I can wear all throughout winter. So I'm super excited. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I'm just going to get started. Let's do the outfit I have on first that I have kept wearing on repeat. I realized I really love color. I guess in the trend picture we're seeing a lot of color so an all grain outfit just fell into my lap and I was honestly kind of worried I wouldn't feel comfortable repeating a monochromatic outfit in such a strong color but I actually have but I have also worn these with separate pieces and this is the mock neck knit jumper these are fairly inexpensive especially for being and other stories but I will say they do have a higher content of polyester but I'm really excited it looks like they are now making this exact like this style in a much higher quality fabric so I will be trying that as well. They don't have a ton of colors yet but I think it's a great direction to go in because that is pretty much my only complaint with these. Other than that they are perfection so I still actually have them because I end up wearing them so much. They are not too long, they have a slightly looser fit but they're not so bulky that it's a struggle to kind of put on jackets over them. They're just, because of the high neck, they keep me warm surprisingly well for not being completely wool. And I have it in another color in this haul. I have been wearing this one so much and I just love the pop of color, even if I'm wearing neutrals for the rest of my outfit. So the trousers I have in a size 38. I always forget what you call this, but this little flap here that kind of lays over instead of just a button right above the zipper. I think it's such a elevated and much more clean look. They also have a pleat in the front as you can see. Just such a beautiful pair of trousers. I think these were 50% polyester and 50 wool so again a little bit of a higher polyester content but I tried to find similar trousers at other stores and I couldn't find anything that was better and I have worn them a lot. I am quite happy that I did add them to my wardrobe. What I love the most about this combination is that it works together but if you feel like this is a little bit much because I totally get that, I still love each of these with different items. So let me try on a different jumper for you so you can see layer neutrals with one basic that is in a pop of color, which is my new favorite thing to do for sure. So the fabric content on this jumper is 57% wool, 23% cotton and 20% polyamide. It does not have any of that scratchy wool feeling that you can sometimes get. It feels very soft. I'm kind of surprised I didn't see this before, but it does have a little bit of a tighter panel here, which still feels really nice and comfortable, but I just think it balances out the more oversized shape of the jumper otherwise. This is still not hitting my hip bone, that's here, so it's quite cropped on me, just keep that in mind if you are a lot taller. I tend to tuck my <laughs> knit jumpers into the, my waistband, but if it's a really bulky jumper like this is, if it's also a little bit longer, you get that like pouch in your trousers, so it's a little bit more faffy to tuck in. This one is really, really easy obviously because you don't have a lot of excess fabric. A nice jumper that I feel like has a lot of attention to details and obviously this is just the coolest thing. Such a versatile piece that could last you throughout the entire sort of end of fall and winter. This will go with everything and I tend to always check this with my chunkier knit jumpers. It's definitely on the looser <laughs> chunky side but the armpit isn't too dropped so I feel like this will actually fit 
nicely underneath jackets as well. Nothing worse than buying a really cozy chunky knit jumper to realize you can't actually wear it outside the house because you have no jackets that actually will fit over it. But such a beautiful and very elevated basic that will just lift outfits. I mean, so versatile. Let's move on. I'm gonna show you my trench coat that I have already broken a little bit. This is quite oversized and it's also very long. I haven't hemmed it yet because I like the kind of very dramatic length of it on me, but I might hem it. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, let me know what you think. This will definitely fit over my very chunky knit jumpers. And I first did get this in the size up. This is in the smallest size they make, the size 32. If you're also petite, I would say size, size properly down. I did actually manage to rip off a button getting into my car the other day, which was not the fault of the coat. You actually get two extra buttons and a clear one for the inside. It's almost like a tent. So you can see uh, I still have plenty of room <laughs> to wear even more layers underneath this. And you also have a very exaggerated dropped shoulder. It's definitely making the whole look much more casual versus a very structured fitted trench coat. This is giving much more relaxed vibes. This has been my go-to. I've worn this pretty much every day since I bought it. You have some very, very deep pockets here. Really, really nice. I hate when you don't have pockets where you can actually rest your hands where they're kind of like cramped like a little dinosaur or something. Anyways, getting off topic, it's obviously more on the oversized and relaxed style, but I definitely feel like it has hit a nice balance between being very unstructured and too sort of stiff and formal. This is a great happy medium, I think. So I'm really happy I found this one. You can see the collar here is really nice and wide as well. And I definitely feel like outerwear is something and other stories has been doing really well, which is why I actually have two blazers in this haul. I have a pair of black jeans because I seem to try and try and try in an effort to find the perfect pair. Okay, I'm not entirely sure about the jeans. I'll show them to you and you'll have to help me. Tell me what you think, if these are a keep or not. But let's have a look at this jumper. This is just so... I mean, isn't this so extra? This is just so perfect for the upcoming festive season, especially if you're having any events where you want to look a little bit more dressed up, but not necessarily like full on sequin dress or something really, really dressed up. I think this is such a perfect jumper. I mean, I'm almost hesitating to call these seats. Uh, sequins, but I think they are. They're just very, very large and they're also very soft. They're not hard at all, so it's not uncomfortable. I can't feel them through the jumper whatsoever. It feels really comfortable to have on and a really beautiful contrast of the knit jumper and the very sparkly sequins. I think it's beautiful. You don't have any in the back. I think that is probably a good thing because if you're sitting down on a chair or something and then you have these sequins like you have in the front, I think they could kind of like be a little bit uncomfortable. At least I have experienced that before when I have a jumper and it has embellishments in the back. It's not the best. It's a beautiful jumper. A little bit cropped it might be a little bit difficult to see because i have the jeans on but it's kind of ending right here yeah i think it's really cute and it's very comfortable to have on that's probably enough said these jeans i keep trying jeans i feel like these are not really it i've folded them up about this much as well which is fine i can just hem them but i think they're getting a little bit too wide too high up i don't know i feel like they're not the best fit, but they're really really nice to have on. I feel like they sit well in the hip area Like from here and up. I like them from here and down kind of hate them Let me know what you think you have quite large pockets in the back as well And I do think this is a nice sort of midway It's not that really really wide style and it's also not super tight and skinny and uncomfortable so I really love the more medium straight leg. I think it's a beautiful basic that's not like to one way or the other. I also just wanted to show you I have a pair of shoes. I keep buying another story shoes, especially sort of fall shoes. These loafers, I even have a pair of loafers from them 
last year, I think last fall, I bought a pair of platform loafers. I love those and I wanted something in a sort of beige neutral shade. You have the sort of almost a bit detail on here making it look very sort of Gucci-esque and I did size up in these to make them fit but I do have like a slightly more wide foot and these are a little bit more narrow so I think if it if you have a had like a normal width or a narrow foot you can probably go with your regular size because I have sort of a wider front foot and then my heel is a little bit more narrow kind of like a duck I'm starting to realize if you also struggle with these kind of slipping off your heel you can put something in the back here but you can also put one of these half soles in the front I find that this actually tends to really help with the shoe just staying on a little bit better I just put on my Arquette t-shirt. I figured I would show you both of the blazers I ordered first. I have this black one. I've had a lot of black blazers and they have not been the highest quality to the point where in my head I kind of thought I have a black blazer, I don't need more, but then I didn't actually enjoy wearing them because they weren't the best quality, the best fit. So I decided to go in and find a really nice black blazer that is a staple I can have for many many years. So the outer fabric is 100% wool and then the the lining is about half polyester and half viscose. It doesn't feel like that chunky wool. It still feels quite lightweight. I definitely think this one would be suitable for sort of all year round, even though when you hear wool, it's very easy to kind of think that's going to be way too warm. It still has kind of a defined shoulder, whereas a lot of the oversized blazers today have much more of that dropped shoulder, which if you're finding it hard to wear a blazer that is oversized without looking a little bit disheveled. I think having that shoulder seam in place can do so much for having you still look quite put together. I really like the structure of this. I really like the fabric. The fabric feels really substantial without being kind of like too stiff. It just gives the blazer a very high quality look. I've kind of been a little bit hard on And Other Stories blazers before because they have been to lose. They just haven't had that structure that I really enjoy and this one definitely does. It feels very very high quality, something that will go with pretty much everything and be a wardrobe staple for years and years and years. It's very easy to kind of roll this up, not even roll but just scrunch it up a little bit. So again even though it is wool it's not like too chunky. I just think this is such a great piece that I will get a ton of use out of. I mean this would fit me even in summer. It would not be too hot. Just to give you an idea of how lightweight this is. Don't be afraid of the wool. It just means that it's going to breathe. This one is much more of the season and how cozy does this look? I'm just perfect for autumn and winter. And when you say wool blazer, I feel like this is kind of what you would uh, envision. This one is uh, wool, it's recycled wool. And I think these were the same price, if I'm not mistaken. And I also have the same size in both of these, a 36. This one is not 100% wool though. It is 67% wool, 30% polyamide, and what are the rest? 3% acrylic, polyester and cotton. And not to defend these materials because obviously 100% natural material tends to always be better, but that 30% polyamide is going to lend a certain strength to this fabric. I would definitely not size down in this one. That is the first thing I would say. The sleeves seem a little bit slimmer. You do have pockets, you just need to unpick them. This is really nice and warm, whereas the other one is much more lightweight. I can definitely see this being a perfect staple for autumn and winter. The fabric is just holding its structure. It's not kind of like being really limp. It's just looking fresh and high quality, which is what I really, really love. But oh my goodness. <laughs> I think they made this in navy as well. I wish they did it in black because I would definitely get that as well. I might be able to go with a size up without that kind of feeling like it's overwhelming me. I actually feel like this one looks more expensive than it is. It feels so high quality that I love the way this just holds its shape like this. It's just gonna pull every single outfit together. I, I'm definitely in love with this one. 
and they're just fantastic to use for dressing up an outfit or even like just layering on top of an outfit that is even more dressy. I'm gonna stop babbling and rambling on. I have three more pieces and they're all pink. I'm cheating a little bit. I'm just putting on this satin skirt. This is actually from Arquette. I just wanted to pair these next items with this skirt. First, I just want to show you an accessory. This headband. I mean, green is definitely a trend color this season, but pink, after the whole Valentino show, we're all loving this hot pink. I have a lot of pink items in my wardrobe already. I do have a strong love for pink. It's such a great color. And I think this is gonna be great as an accent. As you can see, it is very, very large. And this satin is just, it's adorable. It's such a perfect piece to be a little bit extra. Let me show you the other pieces. This is a beautiful, beautiful blouse. I actually waited quite a while for this to get back into stock because I think it sold out pretty much as soon as it released. So it was definitely an anticipated collection. I love all the details, the very sort of puffy shoulder and there is actually fabric in there to keep it puffy. Um, can you see that, that little ball of fabric to kind of help the shoulder stand up. I did get this in a size 36. It's the only one that was in stock when I finally found it back into stock. So I had to get it and just fingers crossed that that size will fit. How cute is this? I think it fits, but like just barely. I'm probably gonna wear a different bra with this to kind of like squish down as much as possible. I'm normally a 36 and sometimes a 34. This is a 36. Uh, but as you can see, it doesn't really take much for it to start gaping there. So it fits, but um, definitely not with a push-up bra. Love the sleeves. It's just such a fun piece. I think this is gorgeous. You can see it's just really keeping its shape. And that's because it has a few layers of fabric underneath. I really think this actually looks like a really nice blouse because the details are well done. And even though this is not something I will wear very often, I still love it. I think this is such a beautiful and unique piece. I have one more pink thing and that is also a hot pink. You can see it's just like screaming next to this, but I still really love this color. I am definitely all aboard the hot pink train. This is the same kind of jumper as my green one. They do it in so many different colors. I want like half of them. Is this the most versatile basic piece in this haul or my wardrobe or at all? No, no, it is not, but it is really, really fun. And I do love pink and I have plans for this one. <laughs> I want to wear this both with neutrals, so I just get a little bit of uh, this fun color into more of my outfits, but I also think wearing a monochromatic or tonal pink outfit is really cool. What I think is great about this one is it's not too expensive, so I can participate in this whole pink trend without spending too much money, uh, but it is still a really great basic. I know I love these jumpers. They're really nice and warm and cozy. So this is something I can keep wearing. Otherwise, apart from the color, I wear this a lot. So if I had a hot pink dress, I know it will be very limited how much use I will get out of it. I also intend on layering more neutral and versatile pieces over this. I really love this color. I'm really excited to have it in my wardrobe and play around with it. Those are all the items for now i feel like there were so many good items here normally i have a few like complete fails i don't know if the jeans were maybe that in this haul but i feel like there were so many wins here so so many good pieces my recommendation is definitely to check out and other stories knitwear outerwear accessories like the shoes their handbags are also really really good the accessories i mean summing up this haul isn't it i'm really really pleased this is a definitely one of my more successful hauls from and other stories let me know what you think if you have any comments also let me know do i keep the jeans do i return them uh, if I'm not sure, that probably means I should return them, I think. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. Bye!